Hi, my name is Natalie. You might know me as 3D Print Bunny. Um, on my printer today, I've got a Cardinal Bird string artwork that I'm doing as a commission. Today, we're going to have a look at designing strings and how to design them in a piece of modeling software so that they will slice correctly and they will print successfully on your printer. And to do that, we're going to use Tinkercad. So let's get started. So today we're just going to go through um, the basics of, of creating a string um, in Tinkercad that we can print and will, and will print successfully. Um, so we're going to put grab a couple of blocks, just align those and group those together. And what we're going to do is put a string between these two blocks um, and, and that's, that's it, that's what we're going to aim to do today. The principle for it works um, when you're creating much more complex um, string models and we might go into that in a later video. But for now let's let's work on um, creating this string and getting the slicer to print it. So when we create a string we need the layer height or the height of the string to be the same as the layer height that you're going to print it at. So say we're going to print it at 0.24 millimeters. We're going to make the string 0.24 millimeters as well. We're going to make it the length of the same length as the two blocks that we've put together. Oh, no, 133. Three. And then the width is the other thing that really matters. The width needs to be slightly larger than the width of your nozzle. So if you've got a nozzle that is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, we're going to go with 0.41. And that's to make sure that the slicer can see it um, and sees that it's a solid thing that needs to be printed. I found that with some slicers, if you make it the same width as the um, as the extruder width, then it, it doesn't see it and it won't print it. So that's my default is 0.41 um, millimeters wide and the layer height is the same. So let's just pop this between our blocks in the center and that's what we're aiming to print. Now if we grouped that together, which is what I've just done, and we um, exported it as an STL and tried to print it, it wouldn't work. In fact, let's do that and you can have a look at um, the issue in the slicer and then we can talk about what we do to sort of um, resolve that issue. So we've got a copy of Bamboo Slicer up here. We're just going to add that model. There we go. And you can see it's got the string between the two blocks and we'll slice it. Oh, no. First of all, let's change our layer height to 0.24 because we set it at 0.24. And let's slice this. Now, as you can see, it looks like it's fine. But when we go down to the layer where the string is actually printed, what we find is that this string... Let's run through the setup there. This is where it starts to print the string and you can see that where it starts there's nothing underneath it. So when it starts to print that it might just about stick onto this previous um, piece of printing but it might also just drop down and the string won't print successfully. So if you're lucky you'll get a string that looks like it's printed okay um, but when you take it off the build plate it will fail, it will break because exactly the same as occurring on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at how to do it so that it will print successfully. And the, um, so we've got our two blocks again. We're going to create our string. Make it 0.24 layer height. And then 0.41. There's our string. We know that we can't just put it in as it is. So what we do is we actually create, I've just copied that string so that I've got another one the same. And what I'm going to do ah, with this string is make it a bit wider. So we're going to make it one millimeter wide. What we're actually going to do is we're going to use this wider one here and make it a little bit longer as well because there are situations where that's quite helpful too. So we're making it a little bit wider and a little bit longer than the string itself. We're going to make it into a hole. So what we're doing is we're creating a gap 
around the outside of the string and that allows the slicer to see the string all on its own and see it right from the beginning where it's inside the block all the way to the end. So if we put the string in first, we'll pop it in there and you can see it just sticks out at the bottom, at, at the edge a little bit because it's, it's longer. So we'll do that. And we can just see we've got a little gap there. And if we have a look, if we make this transparent, then we can see that we've actually got a gap that goes all the way through the blocks. And that's the gap that the string is going to sit in. So now we're going to take our string and we'll make sure that we've got that aligned in the same way, so it's in the centre. So it's got to be on the same layer as the hole. And you can see, if you zoom in there, that there's the hole and the string is going through it. So we'll group that together. And that's really all there is to making a string that will print. But let's have a look in the slicer and see what difference that makes. So we'll export it. And then we're just going to open up the slicer. Just bring that in. Now we've got our blocks and our string. And we've got it on 2.0. Um, 0 0.24 millimeter layer height so let's try slicing that and see what happens so initially it looks the same but let's go down we'll get rid of this for a minute let's go down to the layer where it's printed here we go let's have a look at that so what we can see is that instead of the string stopping here it goes all the way through to the end of the block and when we go through and we look at when this string starts being printed it starts being printed there so it's starting to be printed when it's over a solid piece of print and it prints as one long continuous line all the way there it is it's on its way and it goes all the way through to the other other block and that secures it and what we get is we get a string that is is blocked into to that block and I'm, I'm printed very securely and they're actually quite strong. So now you can design a string that you can print in on a 3D printer and here's my string nice and secure um, and printed successfully and these strings can be used to create some of the more um, complex string art like this um, cardinal artwork that I had on my printer earlier on today. So if, you, if you've enjoyed the video and you'd like to know more about string art, please do like and subscribe and um, share the video and hopefully we can do another one and we can look at some of the more complex artwork that we can do using strings. Mm -hmm.